Welcome to the Backpacking Blisters podcast. Thank you for joining us. With me today is Ben McAuliffe. How's it going, man? It's going good. How are you, man? It's going great. Yeah. So we are here with Mission Impossible. Six challenges that we dare you to complete. Yeah? Oh, I'm excited. I, I think mine are fun. I don't know what yours will be, but mine are mine are doable up to a certain extent. So we'll see. <laughs> um, okay, let's go back to the title. Mission Impossible. You're saying these are doable oh, missions yeah. that are literally okay. <laughs> supposed to be impossible. Well, you, you have to have your team. So, right? You can't, like, these aren't solo. You have to have a team. So maybe okay. it depends right. on your team if you can if you can pick them or not. You can pull it off. All right. Yeah. We're going to get to that. This episode is brought to you by Enlightened Equipment. Check out all of their performance and casual apparel. They literally all have five out of five stars. Can't beat that. Check it out at enlightenedequipment.com. And all right. So here's a question for you. If you were recruited by the IMF, the Impossible Mission Force, as a field agent, would you accept the job? I think I'd have to. I mean, that's like once in a lifetime opportunity. But then again, do you have the skills? I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know if you have skills. <laughs> I don't know either. What's, I mean, like, at least you have a preview of the mission, right? Like, you, you always get the tape and it, like, goes, and then you got five seconds to choose, it seems like, before it self destructs on an airplane or right. in a recording booth or something. So, you have a preview of the mission. You got a preview. Nobody ever seems to reject the mission, be like, you know, what? I'm just not up for that one. So maybe you could be that well, the, guy. I mean, the movie went, the movie wouldn't be good if the guy's like, nah, next one. <laughs> well, what if it's like, okay, we have three missions for you. Choose one of them. What's your favorite one? And then he can decide. <laughs> that might be a better. Like, <laughs> these are all impossible missions, but you're the only one. They but they they toy it because it's like you're the only one. Like you're our only hope, Carl. Right. You have to choose the mission. I know. So and, you, and let's yeah, be honest, Ben. If if it were if you were the only hope, somebody who gets injured fixing fences and moving goats around, like it's probably not going <laughs> to work out, right? Well, unless it's moving goats around or fixing fences, <laughs> but yeah, probably not. <laughs> ben literally got injured today fixing a fence, like compromising his ability to go on the backpacking trip. And is that the guy you want to have saving the world? Just saying. <laughs> yeah, it was a fake injury, you know, like, oh, I can't, I can't work the rest of the day. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, it was first day okay. back, you know, ranch life, mission life, uh, and I fall through a little sinkhole on the property uh, up above. So it was great. Right. It was, yeah. All right. So, so, so we got that. And then we got two key things coming up at the end in the tidbit section. So we've got top movie characters that you'd want to go back backing with. And Ben and I are going to weigh in on that. That's, that's going to be something that I'm, I'm actually very interested to hear what your responses are for that one. And then we've got a Derek update. Like I, I've been promising this, waiting for this, and we have a Derek update. All right, so we'll get to that at the end. But first, Ben, you got the Bible verse for this episode, correct? I do. Uh, I went with the, the easy one of Matthew 19, 26. But Jesus looked at them and said, with people, as far as it mm. depends on them, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. So, Carl, what's okay. one thing in backpacking that has been impossible for you? Oh, my gosh. There's so many things. So many things. Uh, let's see. Getting paid back. Is that is that too <laughs> negative? <laughs> when I throw the cash oh, down I hope on, on a trip. Permits, right? Yeah. The yeah it's, like, <laughs> it's like I'm like 90% successful. So, it's mostly successful. It's yeah. not just the permits. Like if you're getting, you know, like hotels or Airbnbs or oh, gas yeah. or rental cars, there's all sorts of stuff that is involved there, right? Yeah, I I've never yeah. had not get paid, but maybe I'm just more of like the type where it's like, hey, you still owe me. Don't forget. But I don't, I don't know. know. I feel like, like after three or yeah. four reminders, then oh, it makes gosh. me uncomfortable to keep asking, and so I probably should keep yeah. asking. But maybe you can ask for me. Is that? That's pretty like Weasley of me. <laughs> Maybe if I if all of a sudden your phone starts ringing from Northern California, <laughs> that's the bill collector me <laughs> for Carl. <laughs> that's right. Pay up, yeah. Um, oh, what's okay? So what's yours? What's impossible for you? Uh, is it to be humble? I think we covered that. Like, uh, the reason updates, <laughs> how arrogant I can humility be. Uh, so maybe it's, yeah, maybe it's humility. My family would probably okay. be like, no, you're, you're, you're not humble at all. So, um, yeah, humility backpacking wise, um, probably just making good choices, you know, okay. like with trips or packing or running up hills. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I think those, those are mine. 
I am tempted to go through your pack on the next trip and just be like, all right, what do you, what's in here that you do not need? And just kind of just have at it. Maybe after a couple trips, I'll wait. That's, that's not really appropriate the first time, I guess. Right. I no, I think you're going to, I expect it. So I might just okay. throw some things in there. So you're just I, like, what is this? <laughs> the only time I ever did that with somebody was when we had somebody who came, who was just like not a spring chicken and arrived didn't have a lot of backpacking experience, wasn't super fit, had by far the heaviest pack. And we had a big first day. I was like, I can't, you're not going to make it. You're just not going to make it. So I, ha I had to go through the pack. And so did you like bury his gear or there? Okay. Did you bury that gear like and come back for it after the trip or yeah. just made them? Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Gear? Yeah. Just, that's why you bring the shovel. <laughs> just start that's burying right. the gear along the trail. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's like, that's probably like, plan b i would say plan a and you can disagree with me on this is why don't you just put it back in the car ben like what's is that not an option well i guess it depends <laughs> on when <laughs> well you do the famous weigh-in so i'm excited for the weigh-in right. i'm expecting to get graded criticized and then i'm expecting I... for you to go through my gear like it's like okay. going through customs where they undo all your stuff <laughs> And then they don't put it back. So I'm going to have everything packed. And then you're just going to rip hilarious. it apart. And, and be like, all right, you guys ready to go? And as I'm like struggling to like repack my, my gear. And my tent poles are probably pulled out because you're like, your tent's heavy. Let's unroll that. Yeah. And like, let's see what's going on. So That's so funny. If you show up with we a border. should do that. Uh, not everybody like, has to go through. It. Not everybody has to go through customs. But whoever does just gets their pack torn apart and left. <laughs> That's hilarious. Can you stamp my book right. at least? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's talk about the ground rules for this Mission Impossible episode. So we actually, this is like, these like truly are challenges and we have incentives and everything, but we have some criteria here. So, all right, give us, give me one of the rules, Ben. Like what's, what, what do you think here? You have to do them, right? Like that's the rule. You have to do it. You have to have proof <laughs> that you did it. We can't just get an email like, hey, just let you know I did it. Now, right. like. You know, you might be trustworthy people, but I mean, when, when we throw out some, uh, backpacking blisters, uh, swag or, you know, stickers, we want some proof video footage. What? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's your yeah. criteria? Yeah, no, I think the video footage is important and I'm a little concerned with like staged video footage. I'm like semi concerned. I'll say, because I know that if we film something or no, let's say we do something and I was like, Oh, that was awesome. We should get that on video. And then I have the person like do or say the thing over again. It looks so or sounds so staged. So I have a feeling that we'd be able to tell if, if something's staged, right? <laughs> I guess. I didn't think about that. That people are like so try, obsessed try. with uh if somebody has like, if somebody's it, like yeah. has an authentic reaction to something, they're like, dude, that was the best thing ever. And you're like, whoa, no, let me yeah. do that again. Say that again on camera. You like say that exact same thing. They'll be like, Oh, uh, dude, that was the best thing ever. Like they just can't replicate it. It's weird. Oh yeah, we should try that sometime. We should actually edit our edit our podcast where if we say something, we're like, "Oh, I missed that. Let's redo it." Yeah, you reset. Know, cause, cause, yeah. I've been practicing. Um, but, okay. All right. Yeah. Other rule. Other rule. Um, so this is we're not gonna have any challenges that are gonna put people into danger. Obviously, backpacking by itself is dangerous and adventurous. So outside of your typical backpacking -ish issues, hopefully the ones you came up with are not dangerous. Like hang from a cliff and floss your teeth. Like none of that stuff. So, uh, oh, let me change. I got to change mine now. Hang take on. that one off. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then Ben, this is your idea. We, we got like a point value. So can you explain the point system here? Yes. So one point you get is an easy challenge. It's going to be something that is attainable for everybody. Three points is attainable mine's still for some. Hard. It's and... still, mine's still hard. It's just what? easier. Right? Oh yeah. Mine. Maybe I did it. I don't know. We always have a problem with like it's mission impossible. This mission impossible. Yeah. Oh my god. Name of okay. this episode. I'm, if you're listening, um, I try to do stuff a little nicer when it comes to trivia and everything. I set Carl up for success. Uh, he does not like successful people, so um it yeah. really gets them. So he wants you guys all to fail. I'm trying to make it right. so you guys all can pass. Um and if so, you pass, yeah, one we'll send you all participation trophies that you can feel good about. Not even if you pass, <laughs> just if you try. Just if you try, yeah, or just, or just, if you just send an email that you, that you attempted it. <laughs> just send an email you attempted it, and we'll we'll send you something. No, I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> Carl will be busy. Uh, um, I don't even know what points is someone on now. Uh, three points is somewhat attainable, and five points is a little harder. Um, mine, <laughs> not I think impossible, it's just a little painted. harder. 
Yeah. Well, okay. Five is impossible. Good luck, guys. Have fun with this. <laughs> <laughs> five is really hard. No one's going to try this. Like, <laughs> Okay. In order. Right. Okay. You've got to get eight total points from our point system here to, and have it filmed, of course. And if you can do that, then you get a package sent from us filled with random gear. So that's, that, those are the ground rules. Eight points. So you can do two of the medium ones and two of the easy ones. You can do one hard one, one medium one. Like you figure it out basically. Right. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I think we should okay. throw in the first person to complete this gets your, your knife, your famous knife too. Oh, I'll That'd send them the knife. Fun. Yeah. The one inch okay. knife. Yeah. That's a deal. It's sold. sold. Okay. First person yeah. to complete this gets it in. Right. You get Carl's knife autographed. Okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm nervous for you because I have a feeling your number one is going to be something like um, carry a backpack, but go ahead. <laughs> Tie your shoes. All right. Right. Um, but the first one I'm going to do, I know, I, I think you're, you're set up the same with this one, but I'm swapping food. So um, you have to swap food with someone before the trail starts. And I think this one's fun uh, because you get different foods. Um, I think you've sent me some food that you're like, Hey Ben, try this out. And I'm not a coconut chicken curry guy, but I loved it. So, right. um, I think this one's easy. It's doable. Um, some people might be a little more mean and like send you dog food. I don't know, but hopefully you're doing it out of all fun. Um, they might throw cans well, no, 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 no. This into is, your backpack. This, is not, this yeah. is not clear. When you say swap food, that no. means one person is packing their food another person is packing their food. And then you get to the trail and then before you start backpacking, you just swap the food, right? Yes, correct. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and so if you know you're doing that, you can pack, maybe you're packing tuna or something in a can and can openers, hopefully are thinking of that, but I'm thinking right. more easy food, um, ramen noodles or something, um, dehydrated food. So what do you think, Carl? Well, I, Doable. I think that people would not sabotage that mission because if I give you like terrible food and we're on a backpacking trip, you're not going to eat it and you're going to want my food. And so I don't want you to eat my food. I want to have my own food. So I want to give you decent enough stuff where you're going to eat it. Right. Right. And the whole time I'm going to complain to you, Carl, like this is horrible. I hate this right. trip. You, yeah. I, I, you, I have like a hundred calories in me right now. Give me your food. And you're just going to be like, <laughs> I'm done. Here's my backpack. <laughs> Take what you want. Right. I, and I would say, yeah, you're going to complain, turn around and go back to the trailhead. Here's the, here's the car keys. <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> all right my first one's right, actually similar one? but i think it's harder it is harder like it's 100 harder it's okay. it's okay so it's have somebody else pack your backpack prior to the trip you don't know what they put in there like you give them a gear list or whatever you can't okay. open it to see what's inside the pack until you've hiked five miles in oh oh boy this would be a fun one to do with you like me and you could do this one um sometime yeah. um do you think people would sabotage? Like, I mean, I think if it was you. I'd put some fun things in there, just like random gear that you have to carry a little extra, but you're like, right. what, you know, but maybe nice. Um, so right. you can have some fun. <laughs> Definitely have some fun yeah. with that. You, I mean, you can get crazy. I, this is like not a backpack. This is like, you know, a suitcase story, but I remember I was in somebody's wedding and Derek was in the same guy's wedding and we were in charge of like moving his luggage to whatever car they were taking to the airport for his honeymoon and Derek started throwing in like hot wheels and toy cars into the, into the luggage with the thought that like his wife was going to open up the luggage or like see that he brought oh. toy cars with him and be like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Who did I just marry what's, right here? <laughs> yeah. There's a clown wig in there or something. Like, yeah, What's something going like on? <laughs> so there could be some of that going on, but yeah, no, right. I like that. I like that. Well, that's one point. All right. What's your three points? Uh, my three point. Uh, this one's a little fun. Uh, this one will get you more exercise. Um, I'm calling it the cover the six. So when you're backpacking with a group, the person that's last, you if you're if you're faster, you have to come back and 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 help that person. So you come back, you hike with them until you get farther ahead. Then you come back and hike until you get farther ahead and keep coming back. So you're you're you could be doubling your miles. Um, but it, it's a fun one. Uh, I get, I did three, so it's a little it's a little it could be easier. But if you're not as in shape it could be harder um yeah but it'll be fun uh unless you're the person in last maybe carl then, then you're like this guy keeps coming back to me and maybe you're getting frustrated right. so have fun with that if that person does not like that <laughs> yeah uh I, okay so that i'm trying to I'm trying to process what you're saying here so you're suggesting yeah. that whoever is going to be doing this challenge has to be fitter 
than at least one member of their group correct yeah so you have to yeah so maybe you <laughs> invite somebody that's not as in pet just to complete this challenge <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> or they have they carry you know they carry the 55 pound pack and they're yeah. walking slower this is i don't like this one i'll be honest i don't like this one. i know that's fine and this you don't have to do all to mine or all the cars yeah we're yeah. gonna do two miles i got somebody slow coming with me and then i'm just gonna hike back like this is so easy to achieve this is not mission impossible this is mission like mildly annoying i'll call this one so <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna boo this one yeah boo. yeah you can boo, boo. it yeah give me the thumbs okay. down <laughs> all right okay you can boo let's, mine let's because hear yours yeah mine oh, i'm going to whether i like horse. it or not <laughs> <laughs> mine's being a dead horse mine's just taking things to the next level so this is like a play on your trivia punishment if you end up losing uh you've got to buy a hat a name tag and proper clothing to dress like a fake ranger but this time for an entire trip if people ask if you'd like to see their permit to, then you've got to check it and then you've got to constantly be giving unsolicited advice about like wildlife bear canisters proper cooking and camping techniques but you can never claim you're an actual ranger if they ask you if you're a ranger you just say no because you can't pretend to be law enforcement so what do you think about that one <laughs> i think people are gonna get yelled at um, I might, I might be losing the punishment. So I'm, I'm excited to talk to people, um, check people's permits, but, um, <laughs> this one could be a little funny cause they could, they could get yelled at and they'd be like, Oh, you're not actual ranger. And then dressing right. the whole time as a ranger. What if, I mean, you could encounter a ranger dressed as a fake ranger. And that would be, that would be the story that we want to hear on air. So yeah. What are you this, talking that's a good about? One. Wait, what did you say? Yeah. You can encounter a ranger, like a real ranger who's dressed yeah. as a fake ranger. No, well, you're dressed as a fake ranger. So you could encounter a ranger as oh, you are see, dressed as a fake ranger. Like, what are yeah. you talking about? <laughs> well, so the other ranger played a game and was like, hey, you have to pretend to be a fake ranger today, even though you're yeah. a real ranger. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think so, yeah. it's a, like rangers are generally pretty friendly. So I think it's okay to be confident around them, even if with your, I mean, they're used to seeing fake rangers too. People are dressed like that all the time, right? Are they? Like, I don't know. I guess, yeah. I guess so, according to your video. If you so, yeah. are 55 or older, and go hiking with a group, I guarantee oh. you at least one of them wears something that looks like a fake ranger outfit. Guaranteed. Okay. I, I bet that. Because I uh, I bet they have the high, the socks. Usually the socks are hiked up, right? A little higher and that kind they of... Okay, here's what they're wearing. They're wearing, wearing a, yeah. a rangerish hat. They're wearing a nice button-down shirt that doesn't have a name tag, but it has a label that looks like a name tag from a distance. Uh, yeah. It has... They have typically like the zip-off pants and some sort of boots and trekking poles. Oh, and then the vest, right? You can't forget the vest. Usually they might, they, have, like, uh, they might not have a vest. Yeah, you're right. They yeah. Might not have okay. okay. I forgot anyway, so that does happen. And yeah, that does happen. Yeah. I don't. I went to uh, Uganda on a mission trip, and my buddy actually looked like a guy out of LL Bean. Like he just went to page seventy-seven. Is like I'm ordering everything from that, and okay. we, <laughs> we might have made fun of him the whole trip. So yeah. Were people from Uganda impressed with that outfit? Um, I don't know. We didn't ask anybody because we were too busy. Just. Yeah calling a missionary man uh he was a superhero in our eyes, so. Fair enough. <laughs> that's funny all right well, I'll, I'll say this so the last ranger encounter we had was on our desolation wilderness trip back in july and it was like our first stop for the kind of our, like our lunch stop and and we chatted with those guys for a long time we recorded some of it and they're like do you have bear canisters and so we said yes do you want to see them and i forget i forget how they responded but the, as the conversation continued, I said, do you guys have bear canisters? Show us your bear canisters. Oh. Like I demanded oh, no. that they show me their canisters if they were demanding that I should them. And they started to dig them out of their backpacks. And I was like, all right, just checking guys, just checking. Oh, so they, I didn't know they are, they have to carry them too, huh? Like, they do, cause they're yeah. camping out and they're checking. Yeah. So my point being, I hope if you encounter a real yeah. ranger as a fake ranger, I think you just keep playing the role. I'm going to, if I, if I lose trivia, I'm going to do that. So I want to do that for reaction. like a little bit. This is for a full trip. So that's oh, why I'll, I'll possible. throw it on. If we see Rangers coming, I'll throw on the gear and we'll have some fun, okay. but yeah, I like yours. I think that's a good th worthy three point, but that's a long weekend. So plan accordingly. Yeah. And you got to go to some place that ha that actually requires permits. Otherwise that yeah. that's cheating. So, all right. Oh, next boy. up, what you got? All right. All right. My five point, I'm going to call this one backpacking primitively. Um, so you can still bring your normal backpack because it's all about safety, but you have to do a bushcraft shelter. 
Um, okay. And then something other than matches or lighter to start a campfire. Okay, it's like a ferro rod. Is what you're saying? Yeah, that would be the easy way, but it would be cool. All right, to you got to be more like specific. So you have a backpack. Yeah. You can have a ferro rod. What are you besides the fire? Like, what are you bushcrafting? Like your shelter? The shelter. Yeah. So you can't, you can bring your tent because what if it rains? What if, you know, conditions get worse or whatever, yeah. but you actually have to make a bushcraft shelter where like, maybe you're cutting some trees sticks together and, um, getting some pine needles to sleep on. So that's okay. my five. So no pad. No pad. No, nope. no pad. You're complete Sleeping bushcraft bag. shelter. In there. Yeah. You can use it cause it, it'll get cold. I mean, this if you want to get unclear. a bonus you... star, Oh, it's not, <laughs> there's some, I didn't know it was going to tear apart. Can't. Yeah. Ben's not going to tell you unless Carl asks. Is that the, is that the situation? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I want you to bring your gear. I don't want people to go out like, you know, backpack less and like, oh, I tried oh, I it and almost died. Thanks to, you know, right. thanks to these guys. I was, you know, so I'm trying to make it, bring your backpacking gear, bring your tent, bring your pads, but try okay. to make the bushcraft shelter, sleep in it for a night. I don't think I could do I, that. Here's I how, okay, I see what you're saying. You're trying to avoid animal, the dangers. Yeah. That makes sense. Here's, yeah. how, here's yeah. what I would say is, you know, don't use your typical backpacking gear. Go full bushcraft mode for the entire trip, whatever, at least two nights. Yes. But yes. bring your gear as a backup in case, like a case of emergency, essentially, right? Correct. Yep. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I don't want to put anyone in a bad situation. So if you're there and you're yeah. like, I mean, I couldn't do it. I don't like bugs crawling all over me. So be terrified. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, all right. Is this something like you could one. do? Was... Could you do it? Yeah. Yeah, I want to actually. I want to set up a trip this way. I actually want to do a bushcraft style trip. Oh, nice. I don't nice. want to bring the backup stuff, but I've got some ideas for how to do that. And uh, nice. that's on the agenda. That's so fun. we'll see how that plays out. Okay. All cool. right. My last one five points. I'm going to call this the zero dollar budget. No new gear, no grocery shopping. You can bring food, but only what's currently in your pantry. You can't pay money for gas or transportation. You can't pay for parking or permit fees. You can't even pay to charge your electronics ahead of time. You got to figure out a ride to the trailhead, not your spouse. You got to figure out, they drop you off, go someplace where you don't have to pay for a permit. So there's plenty of places where, you know, you get a permit still, but it's free. Yeah. And it's basically just $0 budget. What do you think? Uh, I think there's ways around it because you could go, Hey, I think we're going to backpacking sometime. So you stock up your pantry ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Um, and so you, you just buy the gear there. Um, right. you fill up your car ahead of time and you're like, Hey buddy, can you, I'll let you drive my car and go drop me off at the trailhead. Yeah. That, now you're Does giving away count? some cheat codes here. This is not very Oh, nice. they're see, I'm <laughs> <laughs> trying, trying to help out. I, I'm poking loopholes. Wait, like, wait. Holes in are, your wait are you helping wait, out or are you ruining it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Carl. You did the exact same thing to me. <laughs> I love it. If I if if I if you're poking holes in my story, you're like, okay, man, you're like not prepared for these questions. Da, 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 da. No, but if no, I do it to I, you, you're like, oh, there's holes in the story. Oh my gosh. Oh yours was unclear. Oh, I was clarifying <laughs> yours, and then I said yours was good. We just had to clarify because in my mind it was unclear. Yeah. You're actually yeah. giving away like the secret codes to how to do this easier. <laughs> <laughs> well i mean to me that's unclear like you have to have ground rules like you can't buy special stuff ahead of time knowing you're yeah. gonna go backpacking but that's why it has to be filmed is like we can see what you have and so if you're like oh i just happen yeah. to have all these perfect backpacking food items then boo on you then you don't get the credit for it right yeah i mean that would be that would be it but do you i mean do you have usually packs of dehydrated food in your cupboard or not or do you i got go yeah so i'd have extra of those but i wouldn't it would be the other stuff that i would struggle with the like yeah lunches and breakfast and snacks so, oh lunches remind me yeah i gotta get stuff sorry okay we're good <laughs> <laughs> sorry it's not a phone call we're on a podcast <laughs> no, I, I was thinking of our upcoming trip and i was like i forgot to get stuff for lunches <laughs> so oh it was gosh. a total like oh my gosh i gotta get and I gotta then lost his train thought he's like oh yeah we're recording a podcast right now what's going on here <laughs> <laughs> All right. Either way, okay, sorry about I, I'm sure what I'm sure we both had really excellent and terrible ideas mixed in there. So either way, <laughs> score eight points, prove it, and you got some gear coming your way. If you have ideas for Mission Impossible that's not dangerous, that fits our criteria, please send them our way because they're probably gonna be better than ours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm All excited right. to see what happens. Yeah. Let that's right. Know. Okay, so I've got Mission Impossible trivia coming up right after this. 
The trail is calling your name. Are you ready? Are you really ready? Our good friend Roan from Summit Strength can get you trail ready. Roan uses rock solid evidence to design a specialized training program just for you. There are plenty of cookie cutter programs out there that will get you only halfway up the mountain. Make it to your adventure summit with Summit Strength. The link to your success is always in our episode description, but you can check out all the information you need at summitstrength.com.au slash online. It's time to be strong and pain-free for your next adventure. All right, Mission Impossible Trivia is brought to us by Teton. I, I was actually on their Instagram today, and they had a post about like watching sunsets in Grand Teton National Park. Ooh. And so this begs the question, Ben, what's better, sunsets, sunrises, or midnight stars? What's your preference? Um, we don't get a lot around here other than the stars. So the stars are really good. Okay. When we do get a sunset, it's amazing, and we look at it. Um, you're saying sunrises so are sun nice. Even set, you're saying. Yeah, well, it sets, but it's not like colorful skies. Uh, oh, okay. I I like sunsets though, because su- sunrises you have to wake up special, and and the sky like you see the sunrise, but it's maybe not always like the cool colors. But sunsets when you get like the really cool colors, right. it, it looks good. What's your preference? Okay. So I typically don't wake up for sunrise, but if I'm awake on a backpacking trip and like the, it's light outside, but the sun hasn't hit our area and it's cold. And then the sun hits the air. You're just like, oh, I feel so good. So that part yeah. I like. But overall, I'd say stars. I like the stars the best. So Stars. Okay. There you go. Cool. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. I got three questions. I got two multiple choice. I, of course, have one name question, which is now going to be oh, a staple in, in trivia when you're on the show. Oh, so, yeah. So uh, if you lose this, then you will have to be like, there's no coming back because you'll have two trivia losses. Oh. And this is our second to last episode before our trip. So beware. Number one. Okay. Yeah, I'm what ready. does I the IMF stand for? Impossible Mission Force. Okay. I said it at the beginning of the episode, but I didn't know if you were paying attention. Oh, I knew it ahead you... of time. Yeah. Oh, did you? Okay. So you like that? Yeah, we watched like all movies. yeah, we watched all seven. We watched all seven uh Mission Possible movies the last week. Uh because oh. my kids haven't seen them. So we okay. Yeah, we just binged them. So that's good. Number two, gotcha. not so good, guys. Skip that one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Two's bad. I didn't like three. As much either, weird, but yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. All right, number two, Mission Impossible's four through seven all have like subtitles. Like it's like Mission Impossible with like a title. Maybe it's not a subtitle. Yeah. Which one is not one of them? Like you really should get this right if you literally just watch these. Okay. Yeah. A Ghost Protocol, B Rogue Nation, C Dead Reckoning, D Skyfall. Skyfall, James Bond, D. Okay, you watch too reference. many movies, Ben. Too <laughs> many movies. But you've passed trivia, my friend, so congratulations. <laughs> All right, bring on the name. Easy. Let's Actually, go. <laughs> you, yeah, this is super easy if you just watch these. Number three, what is okay. Tom Cruise's character name? Do you know it off, off top of your head? Oh, <laughs> so I have trivia next week, and that's one of my questions. Yeah, you can so keep it. it's Ethan Hunt. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, Ethan it was, Hunt. My choices yeah. were A, Jim Phelps, who's another Mission Impossible character, B, Ethan okay. Hunt, C Jack Reacher, which is a total different movie series, or D yep. Top Gun. And oh, I would have gone all right. yeah, yeah. Top okay. Gun. No, it's Maverick. Actually, should have been in the name Top Gun. Yeah, right. So yeah, but we know that. Look at that. Not. I'm back okay. after putting up a goose egg last week. <laughs> three, I'm back <laughs> three for three. All right, all right. Uh, tidbits. All right, Ben. Give me, give me one of your movie characters. Speaking of movie characters, we're talking about you know Mission Possible. Okay, who would you like to go backpacking with, and why? Well, the first one's Aragon from uh, Lord of the Rings. I think he'd be yeah. the cool one. Uh, I should have predicted yeah. that both your answers would be Lord of the Rings because you, yeah, you're, you're, you're like bandwidth of variety of movies is what Mission Impossible, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, yours is Princess Bride, so uh, I'm excited to see who you bring on your your trip. Andre the Giant, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have Princess Bride. Okay, uh, so um, Ar- did, okay, yeah. I, so did you say Aragon? Like not Aragorn, Aragorn you're yeah. saying Aragorn. Aragorn. Yeah, my kids made fun of okay. me. I, I say it wrong, but yeah, Aragorn. Okay. Um wow. I did him because I think he'd be fun. Um, I think he'd teach you, and he just seems like a cool person, you know. Like like at the end of Lord of the Rings three, when he's like, My friends, you bow to no one, and he bows to them. Like, that's a humbling guy and like someone okay. cool. So that's fair. Um, and then if we encounter anything, um, yeah, that's who I'd go. So All that's right. my guy. Yeah. Okay. What's your what's your what's your uh, number like, one pick? My mine is uh, Mikey from Goonies. 
Okay. I'm not a Goonie person. Never watched it. Fell okay. asleep during the no. movie when we did it in high school. So, Gotcha. Well, but, yeah. then you're not going to relate. But he's the guy that kind of gets him going on the adventure. He's just very enthusiastic. He's a, he's excitable. He's somebody who you, he's going to make the adventure happen. He's going to help finish the adventure. He's not going to quit. That's the kind of guy I like to go backpacking oh. with. Cool. It's like you just described yeah. me, Carl. So we should have. Oh, uh, okay. Fun so time you then. could be yeah. Yeah, yeah, the real version of Mikey. All right. Yeah. What's your All okay, right. number two? Last one. What you got? So, yeah, so I let me know, because this one, he's not really a movie character, but I thought he'd be fun. You know Matt Graham? <laughs> and if you say I can't use him, then I'll, I got a backup. So The whole Matt category Bush is, guy. is top movie yeah. characters you go backpacking with. I don't okay. have a movie character. <laughs> <laughs> I, I picked him just because of his soothing voice, but if he wasn't an option, uh, I, I picked Charlie Chaplin. Who is he? Well, who's he, this guy? Matt Graham? Yeah. He's the bushcraft guy. Like he he um, does okay. bushcraft build off. Very soothing voice. You know, he's like, "Hey guys, I'm Matt Graham, and we're gonna come here." I can't even impersonate, but really soothing voice. I was like, "Man, that would be the guy that like, hey, can you just tell me a bedtime story tonight?" And then yeah. he has like really good bushcraft skills, so I could just be like, "Hey, can you build us a tent? I'm gonna go search for food." Uh, right. But I don't know if he'll be good because he might not bring any equipment. He'd be like, we're going to live off right. the land and be like, all right, we haven't <laughs> caught fish in three days. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Right. But my other option, right. if that one didn't count, was Charlie Chaplin because he's quiet, doesn't make noise. And, you know, I don't <laughs> like noise. On still trails, not a movie so. character, but an actor. <laughs> it's not even yeah. Well, he did movies. So, oh, my God. <laughs> you don't even know your own cat. Oh, my. This is your idea. This is your uh, idea, okay, not I, my idea. You know what? Okay. Uh, let's go Aragorn and uh, Ethan Hunt. How about that? Okay, are we good, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. All right. So I went similar with my last one. Uh, Terminator. I'm going with the Terminator. So <laughs> he's on my side. He's going to protect me. He's going to protect me against bears. I don't have to store my food, hang my food, take care of it. He's just going to be staying awake at night and, like, shooing away all the wild animals and if I get tired, pretty strong guy, not really guy, pretty strong robot. He's going to carry my stuff. Yeah. What do you think? Are you thinking of RoboCop? Because wasn't Terminator bad in the first one? So are you taking like Terminator after he like, like starts protecting people? There's too many Terminators, man. Just when he was good. Okay. When he's, when he's, when he's okay. a nice guy. Good. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. That makes sense. So you're All not right. going off any skills or anything, just protection. Got it. Right. Before okay. we get to the uh, Derek update, I do, we did have one review. All right, we got a review by Litton13. says, great entertainment. He says, I often disagree with what they are saying, but 100% love the entertainment value. So I get that we might say some controversial things, but 100%? That seems pretty high. What do you think? No, yeah, he 100% loves us. He doesn't, he's not saying he 100% disagrees with us, right? Yeah. Oh, I often disagree, okay. but 100, yeah. I, my comprehension okay. skills are terrible. I apologize. <laughs> All right. So he disagrees with us 100% of the time. 100% of the time. I just saw 100% and disagreed. I was like, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you so much. Like, really, actually, it was like a very encouraging yeah. note here. So, really, really appreciate it. Litton13. And reach out, send me your address. I got some BB stickers coming your way. Would love to send them to you. And that's true for anybody who's willing to take the time to leave an Apple review. That's the podcast app that I use. That's the one I'm, I'm looking at here. So, thank you. All right. You ready for the Derek update? Yeah. Let's hear what's okay. going on with Derek. Okay. So Derek hit, Derek did want to take the summer off. I didn't realize he wanted to take like three months off, but he did want to take three months off. And during that time, for those of you who've listened to the show for a while, you might know that he has two special needs daughters that have an, yeah, they just have a disease that's incurable essentially. So they're both uh, wheelchair ridden and yeah, it's just a very unfortunate circumstance. And one of them, unfortunately, passed away last month. So prayers go out to Derek. I've been praying for him. I actually flew out to Southern California to attend the funeral. And I got just a couple minutes to chat with him because, like, I, I don't know, Ben. Have you been to a lot of funerals? Like, I don't know how they work, but apparently, like, people come out of the woodwork and want to talk to you. And it's hard to, yeah, it's hard to get a minute with somebody. Is that pretty accurate? I think I think it is. I think our our funerals are probably a little different. We're a little more rowdier uh, at the funerals, okay. um, and so and we we yeah, it's probably not the right right person to ask because we tend to have fun. Okay, but well, I I haven't been to a ton of funerals to be honest. So anyway, so I didn't get a chance to talk to him too much, but I did finally talk to him today. We talked for like a long time today. We talked for like I don't know over an hour today. Got some updates, and he's doing better. 
He is excited to, to hop back on the show, but it's probably not going to be for a couple more months. He's still sorting a lot of things out. There's a lot of, yeah, just kind of behind the scenes, nitty gritty details. So on the positive side, he'll be back. Yeah, maybe like November, December is what I'm guessing. And we're going to have Ben is, I'm not going to call you the guest host anymore because you've been doing this for a while. I'm going to call you the interim host at this point. Are you okay oh, with interim. that title? I'm okay with that title. Okay. Yeah, prayers go so, out to prayers go out to Derek. Uh, hopefully he comes right. back soon and yeah, praying for, yeah, for everything if, in that situation. For those of you who, who, who feel like you know him pretty well, like you've been listening to the show for a while, if you want to reach out to him, you know, one way or another, just let me know. You can just email me at my, my email address or our email address is in the, the show description or, you know, whatever message me on Patreon or through Instagram or Facebook or all the 25 different forms you can communicate and I'll get back to you. And, and yeah, we'll have a, have a private chat about that. So so that's that. Um, anything else? No, I think I think that was good. We had a good episode, okay. and uh, you know, prayers for Derek and his his family. Absolutely. All right. So that's all we got for this week. So let us know if you're doing any of those missions. We want to know how hard they are, how fun they are, all the above. If you have any other ideas, please share them. Have a great week, everybody, and God bless. See ya. I want to